In this video, we will be studying this supply schedule. Same as this is same as the demand schedule. In demand schedule, we will given the price and the quantity demanded. And in supply schedule, we will be having price and the quantity supplied. So here, yes, supply schedule. It is a table showing various quantities of a commodity offered for a sale corresponding to different possible prices of that commodity right so let me frame a supply schedule right these are the price of ice cream let's say this is the quantity supplied in units five ten fifteen twenty zero ten twenty and thirty let's plot this on a graph now this is your quantity you take on x-axis on y-axis you take price let us take on a difference of 5 10, 15, 20. Let us take on the difference of uh, 5 again. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. When the price of the ice cream was 5, 0, quantity was supplied. When the price increased to 10, the quantity supplied was 10 and the price 15 the quantity supplied became 20 and the price was 20 the quantity supplied became 30 right so these are the Four points you've got. So let us join these points. This is your supply curve. Right? Now, this table is your supply schedule. <laughs> Now this graph is your supply curve. The graphical representation showing various quantities of a commodity offered for a sale corresponding to different possible prices of that commodity is your supply curve. From here table you have to write the graphical representation and your supply schedule is a table showing various quantities of a commodity. Now see. This is a schedule of an individual because you are given the price and the single quantity supplied. So this is the schedule for an individual producer. So this is an individual supply schedule and this is an individual supply curve. I hope now you have understood the supplies, individual supply schedule and individual supply curve.
Now let's understand the market supply schedule and the curve. Your market supply schedule refers to the supply schedule of all the firms in the market producing a particular commodity. Now let's say this is the price of ice cream you have. 5, 10, 15 and 20. The supply of firm A number of units is 0, 10, 20, 30. Supply of firm B. 0, 5, 10, 20. This is your. Now you can calculate your market supply by adding 0, 15, 20 plus 10 gives you 30, 20 plus 30 gives you 50. So this is your market supply schedule. As this is a tabular form, so a tabular representation is your market supply schedule. And we, when we will plot this on a graph, it will become a market supply curve. Now let's see, uh, now let's make it in a graph. Now let us take the points on the graph. So we have at price 5 right there is zero supply market supply is zero so this is the first point we have got right at price 10 you have 15 market supply right at price 15 you have 30 At price 20, you have 50. So, these are your points. Now, let us join these points. We will get a market schedule uh, supply curve. With us. So, your market supply curve is a graphical representation. So, market supply curve it is a graphical representation of market supply. schedule so the in this video we have learned the supply schedule that is individual and market supply schedule and the supply curve which is my individual supply curve and the market supply curve I hope you like the video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us